everyone, Russ Fox here. I'm at Grindfest 4 and I'm here with Marlo, the Hi, Chief Technical Officer for Livestock Labs and Grindhouse Wetware. He has the North Star version 2. This is a prototype, it's not actually implantable, but he's going to explain to us how this works. This is the North Star 2 that was developed by Grindhouse Wetware over the past uh, three years. It builds upon the original North Star without adding many of the features that people requested, such as rechargeability and um, various sensors and very bright lights. And it's uh, Bluetooth controllable, so it can interface with your phone or other digital technology. It can be charged using the G transmitters that are common for our cell phone use. intended for gesture control of devices. You'll see it when bumped or prompted by some kind of interference, it will glow green and start recording movement data. It has a full 9 degrees of freedom IMU, so it's capable of recording acceleration, rotation, like gyroscope data, as well as a very sensitive magnetometer that can pick up the Earth's magnetic field direction, it can be used as a compass, and it can sense the position and direction of finger magnets out to about a foot away from the device. And many capabilities can replace the sensing action of the finger magnets. It has a very accurate thermometer that can measure down to 0.1 degrees Celsius. The Bluetooth uh, interaction can be used to relay that data to other devices. You could network a few of these, or it could be used to synchronize to music and flash its lights in time with the beep, which is one of, one of my favorite applications. It also has a small memory, about half a megabyte, as well as another half a megabyte of flash memory on the Bluetooth chip. So it can be used to store small files or just to log data recorded by the device. Enabled by its awesome NRO52 chipset, we have the ability to flash new code to the device wirelessly. We wanted to open this out to the community so you could write your own software and write all kinds of custom applications and leverage any capability that you would like. So it will get better over time as people come up with brand new ideas we never even thought of and write their own software to implement that or they're able to you know, fix bugs on their own. 